Bernenmeyer Incorporated presents the fundamentals of offset lithography. The objectives of this video are to illustrate the fundamental principles used in offset lithography and to give you an overview of the printing process. Part 1. The printing process starts with an image you want printed. In our example, I will use the initials B and M. The lithographic printing plate is made as an exact duplicate of the image you need printed. Explanation of how the plate is made will be presented in part two of this video. A printing plate is virtually flat. How then is it possible to apply ink to only the parts of the plate we wish? An explanation of how this is achieved is to use an example you possibly may be familiar with. Perhaps you've seen a commercial for car wax where the advertiser has waxed only half the car. The side that has been waxed is shiny while the unwaxed side is dull. Inevitably the car is sprayed with water. The unwaxed side allows a thin film of water to cling to it, while the waxed side repels the water. A printing plate exploits this principle by having two different surfaces, one shiny surface that repels water and one dull surface that attracts water. If we take the plate and spin it so we are looking at it from the end, you would see a shiny part of the plate appears as though a thin layer of wax is on the surface. The next step in the printing process is to apply a thin film of water to the plate. This is achieved with a water roller. As the roller passes over the dull part of the plate, it leaves behind a thin film of water. When the roller passes over the shiny part of the plate, it is repelled and the surface stays dry. The plate is now divided into two areas. The dull surface is covered by a thin layer of water, while the shiny surface is dry. The next step involves rolling an ink-covered roller over the surface of the plate. Ink is an oil-based product and is repelled by water. Therefore, the areas of the plate that are covered with water will not accept the ink. However, the shiny surface of the plate attracts the ink. After the ink roller has completed its pass over the plate, the plate is now divided into areas of ink and water. There is a thin layer of ink over the image on the plate. How is it possible to transfer the inked image from the plate to the paper? If a piece of paper was pressed into the surface of the plate, the ink and water would transfer an image. The image would be wrong reading and the paper would be wet. These problems are solved by using the offset lithographic process. This process utilizes a rubber blanket to transfer the image from the plate to the paper. This blanket, due to its rubber construction, repels water and remains dry, but will accept ink thus allowing the image to transfer to the blanket. The blanket now has an image that is wrong reading adhered to its surface. Once again, because of the properties of the blanket, the water remains on the plate. The final step in the transfer of the ink image is when the blanket is rolled over the sheet of paper. The layer of ink that was on the rubber blanket is now left behind on the sheet of paper. This illustration shows the completed process of offset lithographic printing. There is an exact duplication of the plate, and the paper is dry. This process can be repeated accurately on our presses over 10,000 times an hour. This photo labels the cylinders on a press. The impression cylinder squeezes the paper against the blanket to transfer the image. Here is the press in action. The cylinders are the same as the previous photo. Notice the image being transferred to the paper. Part 2, an overview of the printing process. The offset lithographic process starts with the original art from the customer. There are three ways we receive art. A computer disc with electronic art encoded on it, camera ready art which can be shot on camera as shown here, or film the customer has supplied. The stripping department places the film in position on the flats in preparation to make printing plates. The films are in negative form, so the light that passes through the films will expose the plates. The flats that are stripped are placed in the vacuum frame. The vacuum frame's purpose is to make sure there are no air pockets between the film and the plate during the time the plate is exposed by the light source. After the exposure, you can see a faint image of what has been exposed by the light source. The emulsion of the plate that is exposed to the light is photochemically hardened to resist the developing process. As the plate is sent through the plate processor, any emulsion that was not hardened by the light is developed away. After the plate is developed, it is inspected against the original films for defects. 
The job is then sent on to the press room. The first step in the press room production is to pull the paper stock for the job. Once the stock is pulled, it is cut to the appropriate size. When the type and size of stock is correct, the press make ready is started. This includes loading the press with paper, plates, and ink, adjusting the press for paper size, and bringing the image into register. The make ready process will customarily take about an hour. The press run starts when the press sheets match the color, density, and registration of the original proof. The length of the press run is dependent on the number of copies needed. The pressman is constantly inspecting the press sheets and checking the operation of the press. The computer console shown will accept a disk to save the press settings for future reruns. After the specific quantity is completed, the wash-up process starts. The wash-up is basically undoing the make ready. Once the press sheet is dry, they are sent to the bindery department. Bindery may include numerous operations such as cutting, die cutting, foil stamping, embossing, folding, stitching, and gluing. All operations like the folder are capable of an infinite number of different results, depending on the setup. One other operation that is often used is the Macy Collating Stitcher. This machine will collate folded signatures. Signatures are groups of pages folded into booklets. The booklets are collated together, stitched, and trimmed on three sides. The booklets coming out the end of the machine are the final product. I hope this videotape has been helpful in explaining some of the fundamental principles and operations of a modern print facility. Thank you very much for your time.